Okay guys, so today's topic is about overwork. Now the main thing is, we get this from so many of our clients and our students and their big question is, why is it I end up spending all my time just doing never-ending to-do lists of tasks at work? And can astrology help us to understand why people fill up their schedule like that and what can you do about it? Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about some of these psychological profiles that can kind of explain why some people do it and some people kind of don't. You know, like you can complain about overwork, but there's always that guy who seems to do the bare minimum and, and the, the overwork guy can't figure out like how come they don't. Well, here's an easy thing. If they don't have any of these three profiles that I'm talking about today, that can explain why the fella gets off on time while you're still doing stuff three hours after you're supposed to get off work, okay? So if you're ready, let's get started. The very first profile is Moon Saturn, the caretaker. Now, the caretaker, just going by the name, the caretaker tells you that there's a lot of these emotional need to sort of look after people. Now, this is even more so if this person is, say, the leader of the team or if you occupy sort of like a senior position in that team and there are people like kind of under you and you feel like you have to be that motherly figure for them. So now the caretaker very often takes on the additional work because they're worried that the guys, they don't know how to do it or like, oh, some guy has girlfriend problems or they've got family problems. Maybe I can help out by taking on an extra workload. So quite often, uh, the caretaker will well, it's not just in the workplace. You'll see the caretaker also coming up in, say, if you're a student and there is like a, a school project. Maybe there's four or five of you trying to do it together. Now, the caretaker is the person who volunteers to write reports for everyone else, like classic caretaker. So what, what is the biggest problem here is that after a while, the caretaker can feel taken advantage of. Now, especially if you start to feel like people are like, oh, it's been convenient, isn't it? Dump it on them and then I can go clubbing or whatever. So the caretaker, often what's important here is for them to realize, number one, is that if you do work for every single person, they will never learn. And what this means is that next month, you're going to get stuck doing it again and the following month and so on and so forth. And the even bigger problem actually shows up when the caretaker runs into a situation that means you can't continue helping them with their work. For example, if you leave an organisation, what happens to all those other guys who can't do their work now because you've been doing it for them? Or it could even be simple things like being down, maybe you, you got sick or maybe you've got another project you have to work on and now you have to worry about everybody else's work as well. So for the caretaker, the biggest problem is not so much about the never-ending list of to-do items, but rather because you can't seem to let go of that need to worry about people. So what I would suggest for most caretakers is this. In fact, helping other people to be independent in their work can be the best way to take care of them. Because when you have taught them or you have downloaded your skill sets to others, what this means is that even if you're not available, even if you have to leave the organisation, the truth is everyone's going to be just fine even without you. And that, if you ask me, could be the best way to take care of the people that you care about. The second profile is Mars Saturn, also known as the Builder. Now, the builder is somebody that a lot of us love in the team. It's the guy who knows exactly what to do. He's very good with procedures, with SOPs. He knows exactly how all the equipment works. And he's the guy who shows up early to set up. And he's the guy who sticks around to clean up after each project. Now, we all know people like that in our work teams and in, in the organisations that we're in. Now, one of the biggest problems now, if you have the mass Saturn or the Builder profile in your astrological chart, one of your biggest difficulties could be feeling that other people kind of don't seem to follow the procedure as well as you do. And sometimes it can be that they actually show up early to set up because, here's the secret, they do not want any other people touching their equipment or setting it up in the in, not in the exact way that they want it to be. So now they, they're stuck because even if other people wanted to help them, you won't allow them to help. Because then sometimes the complaint could be, well, the more you're helping me, the more problems you create for me. So Mars Saturn ends up putting in extra hours and again, similarly to the caretaker, now cannot take a rest and you, you have to work longer hours than most people and very often feels very taken advantage of. Especially if everyone looks like they're having a coffee break while you're the one carrying equipment and setting it up every single time. 
So one of the biggest problems also is that mass satin often can feel that they're not doing like more important work. It's sort of like other people get to do the strategizing, they get to do the stuff that isn't actual physical work. Uh, and quite sometimes mass satin can also feel like um, that they are being bullied, that somehow people are giving you the, the physical work to do. So what happens is, here's what I'm going to suggest for mass satin. And quite often, because they are so good with procedures, sometimes it is worth the effort to actually record your SOPs down. And, and to make it available to other people. So in that sense, once you've broken down your, your work into little procedures, it becomes possible for other people to sort of assist in, in certain areas uh, in your life. Now, another thing about mass satin, and this is, I'm digressing a bit from our topic too, is that mass satin quite often are the people who don't want to be promoted. They don't want to be in, in the managerial kind of position. Mass satin people love to get their hands dirty. So in fact, one of the best ways for mass satin to get ahead in your career is to systemize the work that you're doing so that more people can follow your procedure because chances are your procedure works better than most people's. Now, some great examples of um, some uh, professions in which I've seen mass satin people really excel. Think about very busy places like central kitchens like film sets or even on construction sites where there are lots of these SOPs and procedures and what Mars Saturn does is training people under them to be able to deliver the same process in a very systematic way so that everything runs like clockwork. So if you're a Mars Saturn, consider doing that. It could make you a lot more productive and love your job much more. Now the third and last profile I'm covering today is the Mars Jupiter, also known as the Warrior. Now if you have the Warrior in your profile, you may also fill up all your time with lots of to-do lists, but not for the same reasons as the first two profiles. Now, the, the warrior, given its name, tells you that this person needs to have a lot of physical activity in their life. Now, essentially, these people are restless. They don't want to sit around doing nothing, and it just drives them nuts, right? Basically, they start jumping off the walls if, if their time isn't filled up. Now, this is the guy who doesn't just have a full-time job, they usually have some kind of physical activity outside of work. Maybe they like rock climbing, maybe they like kayaking, they might be professional skiers, or they just go to the club and dance a little bit because they just got to have their body moving in some way or another. So if you're a Mars Jupiter person, one reason why your schedule keeps filling up is because you're terrified that you're going to spend an entire weekend, an entire day with nothing to do. So these guys end up volunteering for all sorts of projects. So they start adding things to their list and sometimes they overdo it. So what this means is that you end up doing the jobs of like three or even four people and it's only when the body breaks down. It's only when this person realizes that they have worked non-stop for 16, 17 hours that they kind of pause and go like, dang, I'm tired. <laughs> and this also means that having taken on all that responsibility with multiple projects, it can be very hard afterwards to say, okay guys, I'm burnt out, maybe I need someone else to take over my projects. So this, I think the problem is less of feeling taken advantage of, but rather that they're just physically really very tired. Or, or realizing that some of the work that you've taken on is so huge and the projects are so big that you can't seem to complete them on time. So in fact, uh, one of the challenges I think with this profile is feeling unproductive, which is an irony, right? Because they're trying to fill up their time with as much things as possible, but realizing that because they don't complete their work, that it's starting to feel unproductive, like a waste of time. So if you happen to be a Mars Jupiter person, here's what I recommend. That actually, you work in terms of uh, the outcomes that you want to produce in any given period. And I think sometimes it makes more sense to fill up your time with more flexible kind of activities. Like um, if, if you're physically oriented and you, you like to go have a run, you like to go swimming, uh, ride a bicycle, that, that kind of stuff it kind of means that you have the flexibility of adding uh, activities into your life rather than sort of committing to it and then if you don't do it, you sort of feel like you've let people down or that you are unproductive. So if you're, if you're like that, then one of the things, good, great things that you could do is to maybe volunteer at various places where they're happy to have you there, but nothing actually falls apart if you don't show up. Okay, so for the Mars Jupiter, uh, that's a very good way to have some 
honesty and a realistic look at what you can re that you can really do in any given day. Now let's wrap up here because uh, I've covered three profiles, but of course the psychological astrology matrix has way more profiles than just three. But I think that these three are the ones that struggle most with the big problem of overwork. So if you find our little sharings about the various profiles really interesting. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, be part of our channel as I share a lot more interesting information on how we can apply psychological astrology profiles to our lives. Okay, so until the next video, see you guys.